All right, what's up? Doing a quick unboxing initial impressions of this right here. Let's just open it up and see what we get, what we got. I didn't see many reviews of these online. Kind of a newer product. So I figured I'd buy one. Paid for this. It is the SOG Camp Axe. Really like the look of it. Ease of portability, not too big. Carry it in my bug out bag, carry it with me wherever I go. Keep it in the truck in the bug out bag in there that I can take with me if I need to take off, but take it camping, do a lot of camping. Let's see, what are some of the specs here? We've got blade length, 3.1, blade steel, if that makes sense to you. I'm not a bladey. Weight, 16 ounces, length, 11.5. It's got a sheath on the back here. Let's get this open. Do, 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 do. And I totally didn't bring a knife to open this. Suck. But I have one. <clears throat> and a back. The best packaging in the world. I hate this crap. I always cut myself. That's why I use scissors. Easier. Now, if I go to the top, I should just be able to pull it out. Maybe we'll just do a cutscene. Magically appear with this open. Alright, boom. Cool, cool. Bust it out. Get the sheath out here. Discard its crap. All right, I got a bunch of sawdust here on my workbench. That's what it's meant for, getting dirty. Let's check this out. Oh, not quite cutting hairs, but let's check out how this works. Looks like I got it on there right. Or not. Um, no packaging, but I'm pretty sure that's upside down. There we go. Oh, it's a stretch. That's on there. I like that sheath. One thing I initially first saw on this was that with the sheath on, still be able to use the hammer part to drive head stakes, whatever I need to do, pretty much anything. It's pretty solid. All right, I'm liking it. I did like the ability to grip this right here like this. Get a good feather stick going. Really good grip right there. Really good, nice nice and choked up. I'll go ahead and, uh, after I get this video up, I'll go ahead and use this for a while. Take it out, outdoors a little bit. Make a couple of feather sticks on video. Get it going. And from there, we'll, uh, we'll upload that. But initial, initial reaction, initial unboxing, love it. Love the look of feel. Might be able to put some kind of paracord around the handle here. You can see the uh, texture on that. It's really grippy. Imagine if I had a glove handy, I'd still be able to grip it. And I do have a glove handy. Yeah, that's what's great about the garage. It's a mess, but it's got everything in here. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a good grip. I imagine for, you know, it's not gonna replace your your bigger hatchets, your bigger, longer axes, but for a good hatchet, this is gonna be perfect out camping. And just to have in my bug out bag whenever, wherever I, wherever I go, have it, keep it in my truck. Um, a lot of people are gonna be kind of disappointed. It does have the, let's see, made in China here on the back, right there by the UPC. 
Also has a little China stamp on the bottom. I'm not too worried. For the price I got it at, was it $38 on Amazon? Solid. Go ahead and uh, use it on some wood here. And back. Are you here? I'm here. It's going to be real bumpy. I'm going to go ahead and do this out on some concrete on another day. Pretty cool. Love the feel of it though. It is what it is. Bam.